monday.com tutorial and review hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you about monday.com and how you can use it in a step-by-step -step guide for beginners so in this video you'll learn how you can use monday.com how you can manage your projects manage your teams and take all of your team's productivity to the next level and also, if you want to sign up onto monday.com, then click the link down in the description below as you will get a free trial for absolutely free. Now, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, let me just tell you what is this software. Basically, monday.com is a website and a software that allows you to manage all of your projects, all of your teams, and it allows you to manage them, you know, assign different tasks to your teams and also lets you keep track of all the deadlines as well. And who is it for? Well, monday.com is basically for people who are a part of a team or who manage a team or basically for people who work remotely and are part of a website who work remotely and want to be in a more professional environment. Now that you know what the software is and who is it for, let's dive into it. So before I begin, let me just show you some features of this website so over here these are some of the key features that monday.com offers so we have the dashboard right which is a simple design and which makes it really easy to use it which i will show you in a minute once i've signed up and we have the automations which allow you to implement different rules within the dashboard which lets you save time and it's amazing and i'll also show you that as well then we have the kanban view which prioritizes tasks and balance according to the capacity we have file sharings that we have integrations with allows you to add different applications within monday.com basically integrate them with monday.com to give you a more fluid workflow then we have the gantt view which is a visualization of different projects of milestones it's just very helpful to keep track of everything that's going on within your company or team then we also have the documents as well now in use cases there are a bunch of different use cases so we have use cases by teams by business size and by workflow as well so by team you get marketing sales you have developers it operations hr right and then by business size you have enterprises small business and nonprofits. and by workflow you have a bunch of different options you have over 200 workflow mainly such as project management remote work and inventory tracking these are some of the more popular ones but as you can see over here we have 200 plus workflow if you want to go ahead and check them out you can go ahead and check them out as well let me just show you in another tab so over here you can see we have a bunch of different templates that we can choose from we have different categories as well we have sales as well over here we have all these different templates that are related to sales we have freelancers and for these are all going to be templates or workflow templates for freelancers so we have hr manufacturing operations so we have tons and tons of different options to choose from now let me show you the pricing plan of monday.com now as i said before if you click the link down in the description below you'll be able to sign up onto monday.com and get a free trial but if you also wanted to learn the price of monday.com I'm going to show you right here so we just simply click on the pricing tab over here at the top and over here we can see we have four different pricing plans right we have the basic one the standard one the pro one right and then we have the enterprise and these are all according to team sizes as well so if you have like a three party or three member team then these are the prices basic is going to be eight dollars per seat per month standard is going to be ten dollars per seat per month and pro is going to be sixteen dollars per seat per month but for enterprise you're going to have to contact the organization contact monday.com and then they'll give you a price for it but if you let's say you had a team of 10 people then the prices are going to be a little bit different as well and for the standard one it's going to be a total of $100 per month per seat. As I said before, it depends on how many members you have. And as you can see, you can add up 200 plus seats in monday.com. And for that, of course, the pricing plans is gonna change and you'll have to contact monday.com for each individual pricing. Now, let me just show you some of the features and benefits included in these price. So if you should go with the free plan, which is gonna be free for always, it's gonna be up to two seats, right? So for this one, you will have unlimited boards, unlimited documents, 200 plus workflow templates, over 20 column types, and up to two team members, iOS and Android applications. You can download them as well. 
but if you go with the basic one including the individual ones you will also get unlimited viewers unlimited items five gigabyte file storage prioritize customer support and created dashboard based on one board as well and and for the standard one it includes everything within the basic plus you get timeline and gantt views calendar views guest access automations which are 250 actions per month so which is basically 250 automations per month so you can get 250 actions per month and you will have integrations with which you can get 250 actions per month as well and you get create a dashboard that combines up to five different boards and then of course we have the pro one which is going to be $16 per seat per month build $48 per month and this one includes standards plus you get private boards and docs chart views time tracking formula columns dependency columns automations 25,000 actions per month integrations with 25,000 actions per month you can create a dashboard that combines up to 10 boards as well it's amazing and for the enterprise one of course you get everything including every single plan previously you also get a bunch of different other stuff but i don't think enterprise is going to be for you it's basically for companies that have a, lot, a very large number of people working for them and they have a bunch of different teams that work remotely as well so i don't think it's for you but still in this one you get enterprise scale automations and integrations enterprise grade security and governance advanced reporting and analytics multi-level permissions tailored onboarding premium support and you can create a dashboard that combines up to 50 different boards which is insane and a lot of boards if i do say so so these are all the plans over here and as i said before if you click the link down in the description below you will be able to sign up for free on monday.com so to sign up just simply click on the get started button over here at the top corner and over here you can sign up with either your email address or you can sign up with google from here you can also sign up by choosing any of these categories that you know your work falls into such as project management marketing software development you can check all of these boxes or some of these boxes whichever one fits your description and you can click on get started to create your account so now i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second so over here as you can see we can invite other people as well so over here invite people with emails we can add different emails over here so we can invite our team members we can select them and add them as a member or an admin it all depends on you but for now we'll just do it later and over here we just give a name to our board so we'll just call it website development and click on next and then over here we select what type of task we would need like budget leads clients like whatever it is right so let's go with items for now or we can even add custom ones but for now we'll just say tasks as well right but it all depends on you for now we'll click on items and click on next and over here we can call this one uh, a group right you can name different groups over here so as you can see over here this is this month over here next month we'll just call this one a to-do list or just simple to do and then for here for the next one we'll say done or finished it all depends on you and then click on next and then over here we have to enter in our item names as well we can add them over here or we can change their names later on as well it all depends on you but for now we'll just say design color formats over here i'll just say color format or come up with a color format and for the second one we'll just say design the ui and we'll click on next and then over here what type of columns we want we either want text numbers timeline files it all depends on you but for now we'll skip this one and i'll show you how you can add it later on so over here we're creating our first board so this is how it looks like right so this is your first look at your first board right this is going to be your first workspace so but first let me go back over here onto the home page and over here this is how it looks like so overall as you can see when you first sign up this is how your base would look like this is basically your home page right and then down below you will have your workspaces and some recent workspaces are going to be over here and then over here on the right hand side you will see a checklist that you would need to complete in order to complete your profile you can do that as well like you can upload a photo enable desktop notification invite different team members install their mobile applications and stuff like that and then down below you will see all of your 
workspaces as i said before now before i begin let me just verify my email address all right there we go now if i enable my desktop notifications over here this should be completed as well let me reload it so this is how it is right now if you in order to go ahead and access your workspace all you got to do is just simply click on main workspace right here now this is how it looks like and within workspace over here you can see all of your boards you can see your members you can see the permissions that you have right over here you can edit the main workspace you can change the logo as well you can change the color you can change the logo you can upload your own logo if you want to you can even change the cover photo of your workspace it all depends on you on how you do and manage your workspace so for me i'll keep it at that and let's begin so now let me just show you how you can use the software so using it is pretty simple as i said before so first things first what you would need to do is you would need to create a new workspace right as you can see we've already done that you will already have a workspace when you first create an account let's say you want to create another workspace to keep everything organized what you'll do is click on this icon right here and click on add workspace and over here you can name whatever you want what you know you can call it website development or website content you know let's say or content for website right so for this one we'll keep it open and we can even keep it a privacy but for this we'll need the enterprise plan but for now we'll keep it open and we'll click on create the workspace so over here as you can see this is another workspace and this is the main workspace right let me actually change the name of the main workspace to website design over here as you can see you can create different and multiple different workspaces to better organize so over here this is going to be the design element of your website and for this one you will have the content for your website so over here people are going to come up with different content for your website this is how you can go ahead and separate your workflow or different projects or what you can do is you can even combine both of these two workspaces and create different boards and folders to manage it but that tends to get a little bit of messy that's why i recommend creating different workspaces for different elements or different projects but at the end of the day it all depends on you now let's go ahead and show you how you can create a new board so to create a board all you got to do is click on the plus icon right here but for now let me just switch my workspaces because over here we don't have any boards so let's go ahead and create one so for this one you can either add from the templates or start from scratch and you can even click on this plus icon and you can select choose from templates and create a new board what i would recommend is of course choosing one from the templates over here it's much more easier so for this one you can choose any of these templates these are basically recommendations depending upon what you put in as a answer and then over here on the left hand side you will have a bunch of different other categories as well so let's say since this is design or maybe some other type of project then you can go with this one or you can go with the project management one what i like to do is i like project management and you know the agile workflow is very nice and very cool i go i definitely like that or you can click on start from scratch and over here you can start from scratch as well but at the end of the day, it all depends on you, on how you would want it. So for project management, you can go with the multi projects, agile project management, register or single projects. Let's go with the agile project management over here. You will have different contents and different boards to choose from. So let's go ahead and click on use this template to actually add this template within our workspace. So this is how the agile roadmap looks like. And over here you have different views as well. So this is the Kanban view. This is what I usually like as well. It's a simple one. You have your working on board. You have your done board stuck or not started yet board. It, it's really fun as well. Let me actually just move it over here. So as you can see over here, you can add different tasks. And over here, people can see what tasks are being worked on and you can see what tasks are done and what are stuck, right? You can go ahead and add or change the names of each of these tasks as well. You can even choose the main table as well, as you can see over here, you can add different names of the task. You can change the group or the of the name. You can add different columns within each of these over here. So since this is, let's say a, you know, what content for a website, let's go ahead and remove and maybe add some of these columns as well. So we don't need this one. So what we'll do is we'll delete that one. Yeah, there we go. Priority will keep that domain. I don't think we need that, but 
you know, you can add that as well. Tears will also delete that. Scope defined, we don't need that. We'll keep the timeline so that we can see the overall deadlines of the, each of these products. Initiative state is working on, right? So we can keep that. And then we have sprint planning. We can, we don't actually need that, but yeah. And then we have tasks progress. Over here, we can keep this one as well. This one looks good. So over here, people can go ahead and change each of these progress as well. This is 76% innovative. You can go ahead and keep that or you can delete that. It all depends on you. Now, what I would do is we can also add different boards as well. So let's go ahead and click over here. And over here, we can add a people's board as well. So if we already have an owner's one, right? And then we have a people's board over here. For this one, we'll click over here. People that are working on right here, right? So we'll just say assignee over here. We can assign different people to the task over here. We can add the owner of this tasks, right? And then over here, we can assign different people to each of these tasks. We already have the priority one. We already have the status one for the initiative status. We'll change that to just status. And over here, as you can see, we have different ones working on, not started, stuck. And we can even go with a different label as well. We can change and create or add different labels for each of these different tasks. So it's very simple and it's very easy. And if you wanted to invite other people, you can do that as well by clicking on the invite button over here at the top corner, at the top bar. You click over here and you, as you can see, you just simply enter in the email addresses over here and you can invite different people. Now, we also have workflow center and we have board power ups. Now, board power ups is basically, you could say, integrations or that you can add within this board. So if you click on app markets over here, we can see different applications that we can integrate our board with. For example, we can go with a Canva embedded. You know, since this is a for design or content, we would definitely need Canva for this one so that people can just quickly create designs and import them within the board. And so, and so that we can view each of the design or element that our assignees or teammates have produced so we can see them. This is, of course, the roadmap. We also have the print sprint planning as well. It's very simple and it's very easy. And if you wanted to add other applications, you can as well. We have a bunch of different options. So for project management, we have, you can see Adobe XD, Google Calendar, TeamView, Funnels, Notes. We have integrations as well. We have dashboard widgets that we can add different widgets within our dashboard. We have different board views as well. We also have workspace templates as well. It's super easy to use. It's super fun and it's well, thought out and as i showed you it's super easy to use as well and if you wanted to change the view you can simply click on the add view button and over here you can change the view so you can change it to table view right you can change it to card view you can change it to gantt or kanban as well so this is the gantt view as you can see right here let me just increase it so over here this is the gantt view it all depends on you how you want your project to look like and which view is best for you but generally this is it as you can see if you simply click over here on the assignee button you can assign different people to it and also if you wanted to leave a comment you just simply click over here right click on the task and over here you can see you have the files the activity log and you have the update and over here you can go ahead and write an update that you wanted to add like whatever you wanted to add you can add that as a comment as well it's super fun it's super easy and this is basically it this is everything that you guys need to know about monday.com so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching this video and if you want to sign up onto monday.com click the link down in the description below as you will be able to get a free trial of monday.com as well and do check out some of our other videos that we've done on monday.com on other parts of this awesome website and if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications now we'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye Bye.